Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. I'm a professional tarot, intuitive, and astrologer. So it is currently the weekend, and it's not that I don't, you know, um, make the time and the space to download messages and share messages to the public. It's just that in order for me to protect my own energy when it comes to sharing these massive public messages with the world, especially on my YouTube channel or on social media or on Instagram, I have created boundaries in order to make sure that I'm able to separate myself from being of service all the time. So the fact that spirit has really stopped me dead in my tracks, you know, at right now, this weekend, but also the way that things were set up for me today. I technically am supposed to be at a bit of a party right now, but I just couldn't move forward with going to the party. I had to come on here. I had to talk to you guys. I was feeling this massive buildup of energy, this massive message that is that I wanted to share with you guys. And I really feel in my heart that someone needs to hear this, that someone needs to feel this. It's not necessarily for me, it's definitely for a specific person. As I started talking about it, as I started, because I, I put it on my Twitter, as I started you know, putting out tweets, the more started coming, the more it started flowing to me. And that's always how it is. That's one of the biggest blessings that YouTube, being able to be on YouTube has given me and afforded me, is the more that I'm able to talk about it, the more messages I'm able to download. I have learned in my journey that the more that, you know, like when, when I get a, a message or when I get a vision, it will be this tiny seed, like a, like a second, like it'll be like half a second of a vision. But if I start talking about it, it will unpack all of this extra additional baggage. And by baggage, I mean additional messages. So someone needs to hear this somewhere because literally I was stopped, stopped dead in my tracks. In fact, I thought I could just quickly get it out on Twitter and continue on, but no. So first thing th first that was coming through is just this massive weight, this heavy, heavy weight, this burden that it, it's like pressure that's been pushing down. I feel it from space. I feel it from um, not necessarily not necessarily the planets. I don't feel that it's necessarily an astrological pressure. I just feel as though there's just, I don't know where it would be coming from, if it's coming from a different dimension or whatever it is. I, I haven't sat with it for longer than I have. Literally, from the time that it is that I've been feeling what I was feeling and right now must have been like five minutes. So I haven't had the time to really sit with this. Hopefully, maybe it'll come through a little further, but whatever it is, it's this next level realm. And it's coming from, I believe that it's coming from this divine creator, this all loving, you know, energy. Some of you guys believe in a God. Some of you guys believe in a higher power. Some of you guys believe in the collective good. Wherever it is or whatever it is that you believe in, that is where the source is coming from. Um, and you just have to keep your mind open for that. You know, wh whatever the source is in your mind that you believe it is, that's where it's coming from. Anyways, where this pressure is coming from or how this pressure is pushing down in your life, it's we're feeling it right now. Um, at the time of me filming this, it's September 12th, 2020, but I almost feel as though time doesn't, this is gonna get really weird, but this is just me explaining how it is that I feel. But when time doesn't really exist, but it could be now, but it also could be from the future, it could be from the past. So it's just weird how timing works. So if you're watching this video, again, the timing is accurate and right for your life, but um, especially if this message is showing up for you, but what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling is at this moment in time, this pressure that's been heating up in your life, that's been pushing down, you have been undergoing this massive revolution, these massive changes. You have been under this total breakdown, breakthrough in your life, breaking these generational curses, breaking these um, uh, barriers, um, having to remove and cancel out 
the most unexpected people in your life. Like it, I have chills as I'm saying this because it doesn't even make sense. When you, it's almost as if you were born into this family or these friends that you thought were for, forever or a cousin or some type of connection, a community that you just thought was with you forever or something that you thought was gonna be with you forever or a series of things that you thought, you know what I mean, that was just gonna be there forever. In your mind, you just never thought that anything would remove it. I just heard the word rupture, that nothing would rupture it. Nothing would put it in harm's way. Nothing would puncture it, make it bleed and make it you know, come out of your life, you know what I mean? But that's exactly what happened. I feel as though um, spirit is saying so clearly that it's we have this tendency sometimes as human beings to say that it's a lesson. It's not that it's a lesson. It those things that have happened in your life, those moments, especially now at the time of me saying this, it's almost like the lesson that you're experiencing now is also something from a past. So it could have been a replica of something from your childhood or from past lives um, or ancestry. Um, I'm not really sure, but it also I also see it in from the future. And that's where it gets weird because it's almost as if it has the opportunity or the potential to repeat itself. So regardless, spirit, spirit, the divine, the creator, whomever, is not looking at this as judgment. It's not saying that it's a lesson. It's not saying that it's anything even involving karma. It's just these cycles. It's these waves, like how you watch the ocean go in, the waves of the ocean pull out and crash in. It's kind of like the waves of the universe and it's this eight figure eight infinity. That is something is pulled out, something comes back in and is created. And you are a part of that cycle. You are part of that process. And Again, you know, for you, you'll be like, well, my life, most human beings will live anywhere between 70 to 90 plus years. So you think in your life that, you know, your lifespan, this is, this is the, the timing of your life. So this is how things, this series of things, how they happen, how they occur. So, and for you, that feels like a lot, but in the eyes of the universe, it little, literally will be a second. So this this un, this massive transformation that you've been undergoing again it's connected to the past it's connected to the present and to the future it's happening right now it's been happening right now and again it's been these things that you have been called you know to that you have been actively called with pain in your heart um, it takes, it took a lot of strength. In fact, some of you guys had to pull from a space of strength that you didn't even know that you had, or maybe it didn't, maybe it, that strength didn't come from you. Maybe it was forced away from you, but it was yours. It, you have to acknowledge spirit is saying so clearly to me right now that you have to acknowledge the fact that even as certain things were pulled out of your life, your real strength was not in your ability or inability to call the shots on it because either way it was outside of your control. Your strength is when you picked yourself up from the grounds keep. I don't know what that means, but from you picked yourself up off of the ground and you carried, you, you attempted to carry on. You could attempted to keep stepping forward. That is where spirit sees your strength, is not in your ability to call the shots on what has happened, what has occurred in your life. These are these major changes, these major moments of transformation that changed you, but shifted you and shaped you as a human being and your purpose here on, on, on earth. The reason why they are so impactful and meaningful is because it was the same thing that you thought could never happen. There's this emphasis on the impossible that was coming through. Um, now, me saying the impossible, I want you to hear this. This is when spirit says the word vulnerability. Spirit says that in that moment of vulnerability, when you were so weak, when you felt powerless, when you felt this shift in your life that traumatized you, was traumatic towards you, um, it actually was not a lesson, but it was an opportunity for you to learn how to embrace vulnerability. We live in a society right now where, and we live in a world right now that doesn't really acknowledge and embrace vulnerability because we see it as weakness and to be weak or vulnerable means that we are open to attack. Spirit is saying so clearly that that is simply not the case. Um, you were created vulnerable to begin with. You were, you were created raw and naked to begin with. Um, but there are some people that are traumatized or experience their own traumas and their own dysfunctions that make them kind of replicate the dysfunction that they've experienced. And that when you cross paths with them, you 
become a victim almost. You be you cross paths with them and it's not it's again it's not about this karmic thing. Sometimes we want to try to explain things and say, "Oh, it that's the way that it was supposed to be," but spirit is clearly saying that it's not that's not the way that I would have created it. That's not how I would have wanted it to be. It's not this let it's not these harsh lessons that need to happen in your life in order for you to undergo this massive change. That's not actually the way that I wanted it to be, but because human beings can are, you know, wired with free will and because there's so many things that can happen to us, um, that can be traumatic and can be paralyzing and crippling um, of our love, of our, our, our of our voice, of our positive intention, our goodwill, the things that is that we say and we do. Um, it can we we can kind of impact each other in ways that can feel really painful and add on to the trauma. Spirit has clearly said that these moments, you know, from for some of you guys, I'm seeing addiction. For some of you guys, I'm seeing massive loss. You know, some, when we say addiction, sometimes we think about drugs, we think about alcohol, but addiction could also be love. It could be codependency. It could be work. It could be these things that you're prioritizing that seem like they are constructive to your well-being, but if you peel back the layers, you could see that it has violated you over and over and over again. It has violated you. And Again, the strength, Spirit wants to acknowledge the fact that your strength is not in your ability or inability to call it out, to push it out, or to call it in. Your strength was when the universe literally comes in like a wave and pulls it all away from you, and you are left naked on the shore and just feeling very vulnerable, feeling very raw. But that is your authentic being. That is your authentic state. Um, is a space of realizing that you have to surrender to spirit. You have to surrender to the universe. You have to surrender to love. You have to surrender to peace. You have to surrender sometimes your will for the will of the universe so that you can be carried to where you need to be again with the right, at the right place at the right time. It's not karma. It's cycles, you know, which we have to be very careful there. There's a connection between the two karma and cycles, but they're not one and the same. They're not the same. Spirit is clearly saying that there's a difference. So with that, Spirit says that your greatest lesson, um, your greatest power, your vulnerability is going to come from, well, your greatest strength is going to come from this space where you are you are vulnerable. And where you are at right now, um, I'm really feeling called to say this to you guys. There is this massive cleansing. This pressure that's coming through, it almost reminds me of what I've heard happens during surgery. And it's interesting because those are the exact words that I said on my Twitter. I said spiritual surgery. It, I, when Sometimes when people are numbed, um, you know, when they're in a sur getting surgery done on their body, um, the area is numb, so they just feel this higher pressure on there, um, on that spot, but they don't feel the pain of it, but they do feel the pressure and they're uncomfortable and they might be scared. Um, sometimes there is pain, but for the most part, it's a pressure. And that area in your life that is experiencing and undergoing the most pressure right now is the area of your life that the, the divine is rapidly and hyper focusedly transforming on. There is this mass, and that's where the surgery is happening. There's a spiritual surgery that is occurring at the time of me, um, at the time of me, you know, putting this video out there, or maybe you even seeing it. Um, Spirit is saying that, you know, to acknowledge how how it's the same thing with the physical body is how it is with the spiritual, emotional, and mental bodies. So, or maybe it's the circumstances around you. So if, if you, if your physical body has ever undergone surgery, you don't move. Okay. You allow the doctors, you allow the professionals to do what it is that they're going to do in order to remove the problem or to fix that area. That is, if you move, it will make it worse. It will make it bad. That's why spirit says, be still, be calm. In fact, put her on, put her, him or her on anesthesia, anesthesia so she can sleep throughout it. That's actually what it is that I'm seeing for you guys is there's this spiritual sleep or this rest or this stillness that has to occur while you are in this stillness in your life. And again, it, it doesn't, some of you guys expect it to be a week, but the reality is that it's been like six months. It's like six, seven, eight, nine months you know, that you are undergoing this massive pressure and it is leaving you feeling so vulnerable. Some of you guys are feeling like you have undergone so much transformation that how you feel and how you feel, like how you feel, you're so uncomfortable with it that when you look at yourself in the mirror or when you look at your circumstances, all you can see is pain and suffering, depression, sadness, anxiety. 
because that is what you are feeling right now because you are so stripped of your ego. It is that, it is like just massive. It almost reminds me of the intuitive message that I pulled last time. So I don't know if you guys have to revisit that, but I was almost watching people using salt scrubs to keep removing themselves and healing themselves. And spirit said, you got to stop doing that. Like, let me take it from here because you are overly buffing your yourself to the point where what was once healing is now detrimental to your spirit. So I'm getting this sense right now of massive stillness, but as you're in this stillness, there is this surgery that is occurring to remove the very areas of your life that were the most toxic, that were the most draining, that were the most problematic. It had to be removed out. It had to be wiped out. A lot of you guys have been spending a lot of time in prayer. So um, I really, and the reason why I say that is because I saw this vision of someone crying. Um, and if that was you, if you were praying and you had your head tilted back and you were like gasping for air, crying in that way, spirit saw it, spirit heard it, and it ushered in even more surgical energy that says she needs, he or she needs to be healed right now. We have to put our hands on her. We have to heal this area of her life. Um, some of you guys, it was intention. You were, you were actively calling out intention from a very vulnerable space or a moment where you are very vulnerable and exposed to the universe. It was a very raw moment, a very real moment where the universe saw you just total. It's like if you see a crab and you took the, the shell off the crab and the crab's just sitting there looking and feeling ugly and vulnerable and scared and like, this is not my normal state of being. It's like, yes, I know, but spirit always saw who you are to your core, but you just never allowed the world to see you like that. And for good reason, because being that open could, again, make you very vulnerable to certain people who could take advantage of you or whatever the case is. But Spirit says, I need to see it. I need to see it. I need to transform it. You guys, this is not just this year. There is this massive emphasis on it was not just this year. This was something that was in the works and undergoing for a long, long time. It was chaotic. There was dysfunction. There, It was tumultuous. It was crazy. There are people in your life that are like, I don't know how he or she lived through it, but she did. There are aspects of yourself that people do not know that you have experienced. There are things that you have experienced that you have lived through that do, no one knows about. Even your closest friends, your co closest family, they don't know that you're a survivor. They do not know what you have survived. Spirit has to acknowledge the fact that you have survived. Literally, it goes me, it brings me right back to what it was I was saying that in those dark moments of the soul, it wasn't what your strength was not in what was taken from you or what you, you know what you kind of had to surrender to the universe or whatever your strength was after I took this from you, after this was taken from you, after this happened, after you were, you know, you did this thing, after this, this thing happened. Some of you guys, it was not um, something that was taken, something, it, it, it was something given to you, which not was not a gift. You know what I mean? Like, you'll know what it is that I'm saying when I say it. It was given to you, it was not a gift. And spirit says that your strength was not in the act of that. It was not in the movement of that. It was how you decided to pick yourself up and walk. Pick yourself up and drink water. Pick yourself up and cry. That was your real strength. That was your real strength. No one would know that. No one would know that. Like no one would understand. I literally have chills. No one would understand. Spirit says you are so seen in that moment. It like you are so overly seen in that moment. And that is where you need to be still and let us fix it. Right now, let us fix it. I am also seeing spirit coming in. It's like this brigade. I don't know why I'm, that's the word, but it's like this war coming through. Um, that's not, some of you guys have actually been through war literally and figuratively there have been things that have happened and occurred that you want to cleanse your energy of you feel like it is so unforgivable spirits is literally so forgiving you guys that's where that vulnerability comes from is because some of you guys need to hear that you are so worthy of that level of forgiveness you are so worthy and spirit is so literally the worst that has occurred spirit saw it and says come here i love you regardless dude like your strength is in not what what you did not what happened not was taken it was in your you standing up again 
And Spirit says, come here. Let me hug you. Let me love you. Let me support you. Do not suppress this any longer. Give it to me so I can fix it. Give it to me so I can heal it. You are so worthy of being healed. You are so worthy of being forgiven. You are so worthy of this level of mercy and compassion. You compare yourself to other people who you think are deserving, but I'm looking at you in the same way, in the same light that I look at them, and I want to give you the same things as them. They are not more blessed or gifted or whatever then you they're not more valuable than you come to me and let me heal you there is spiritual surgery that has to occur so that you don't have to feel this anymore and it is very important in the eyes of the universe in the eyes of spirit that you are given relief from this burden cleansing and as i say that there's this bottle of tea tree oil that someone sent to me in the mail Actually, no, this is Whole Foods. This might have been a gift, though, because I didn't buy this. Um, I'm pretty sure that was a gift. But tea tree oil, I just am seeing this spiritual cleansing. Some of you guys have been moving so much that spirit says, can you stop? Surgery, When in order for the surgery to come through, you have to be still. I'm also seeing um, a brigade of these angels, okay? So I can't tell if they're actual angels or people in your life who are like angels. They're very angelic because their intentions are so pure for you. They are so caring over you. They are so loving over you. They want the best for you. It's not all talk. You know, there's a lot of people who talk shit. These angels are not that. So there, I'm just seeing this wave of people coming in and fixing it. The same areas of your life that have felt so suppressed. I'm seeing this massive hyper focus like, like a, a razor. It seems like it's dangerous, but it's not. It's literally the spiritual knife of surgery that is coming in and fixing it and healing it. And it comes from this higher self. It's coming from this higher self, but it's coming from this higher divine energy. It's so loving. It's so hyper-focused. It's so powerful. It's so potent. It's more potent and healing than the most educated per people, the most knowledgeable people, the most guided people that we could ever experience here on earth it is literally the divine. Like divine grace, divine justice, divine compassion, divine knowledge, intelligence, all of, divine love. It is so powerful, more powerful than we as human beings could ever experience. And that is what is happening over your life right now, you guys. I send you all of my love. I had to share that message. I hope that you know that you're loved. I hope that it resonates. I hope that it changed your life. But um, let it let it in. Let it in. Call it in. Have that moment. If you ha didn't have that moment of prayer, you know, if you didn't set that intention, if you didn't have that moment, have it now because it will come in and it will change everything. You are so worthy of forgiveness regardless of what has happened. It's you, you are forgiven. You are forgiven. And if there's anybody that you need to forgive, that needs your forgiveness, put it out to the universe now because it will be felt. Even if it's this emotional purging, it will happen. Be blessed. I will see you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. We are such a beautiful tribe and community here. It is such an honor. And I hope that you're well. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.